أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تمسك بسنتي لا يوم الدين أما بعد be appropriate to mention considering that we are talking about the Quran Quran and the return to the Quran that we find to look back and to study Fadailul Quran to look at the virtues of the Quran that may begin to inspire us to live to become people of Ahlul Quran people of the Quran and as you find Ibn Kathir Imam Mufassirin has written in great detail in the beginning of his tafsir talking about the virtues of the Quran and likewise we find inside many books of ahadith collecting chapters or ahadith about fadailul Quran to look at the virtues of the Quran amongst those ahadith that come to mind if we look inside Riyadh al-Salihin is talking about the hadith that the believer who recites the Quran wa ya'malu bihi the believer who recites the Quran and carries out the actions of the Quran. As we find the hadith of Bukhari, when Aisha was asked about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, she mentioned, Kana khuluquhu al-Quran. His character was the Quran, bi ayyi ma'na. With which meaning, that he stuck to the halal and avoided the haram. So the highest level of being a believer is a person who recites the Quran and also implements the Quran. That individual's hadith, the parable is given, kal utrujjati, is like a citron, a type of orange, whose fragrance is good and its taste is sweet. That is the ultimate level of a believer who finds halawatul iman, the sweetness of iman, of not just listening to the melodious recitation of the Quran, but also finds the sweetness in the implementation of the Quran. And this is one of the many reasons or the main reasons that we find weakness of this blessed Muslim Ummah is a lack of implementation of the Quran. Thus we find the Quran mentions Kitab Anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun liyadabbaru ayatihi wa liyatadakkara ulul albab. This is a blessed book that we've sent down upon you liyadabbaru ayatihi that you may begin to ponder over its verses. Imam al Hassan al Basri mentioned that you begin to liyadabbaru ayatihi bi ma'na an ta'mala bil Quran aw an tutabbiqa al Quran to ponder over the verses. There's a general meaning of just pondering over the verses, but the hidden meaning is is to live according to the Quran, to try to implement the Quran to the best of one's ability. That's the Quran mentioned in Surah Al Furqan, the 25th chapter of the Quran. وقال الرسول يا رب إن قوم اتخذوا هذا القرآن مهجورا وقال الرسول يا رب إن قوم اتخذوا هذا القرآن مهجورا The messenger make this statement Oh my Lord, indeed my people have abandoned the Quran What is the meaning of Hajr al-Quran? What does it mean to abandon the Quran? Amongst the meanings, the plausible meanings of abandoning the Quran is obviously that which is clear, the recitation of the Quran. That is what the Quran mentions inside Surah Al-Baqarah as well. Kitab Allahi wa ra'a dhuhurihim ka'annam la ya'lamoon. Some of us, we throw the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behind our backs as if we don't know. This Quran, Al-Quran hujjatun lak or hujjatun alayk. The Quran is an evidence for you or an evidence against you. For all of us Muslims. And as we know in the Day of Judgment, a person will be told to read and ascend, to climb. Wherever you stop reading will be your place inside paradise. So the more Quran the individual knows, the higher they will begin to ascend, to be with the melodious reciters of the Quran, those who lived in implementing the Quran. So we should take this lesson that we try to strive to recite the Quran, memorize the Quran, recite the Quran appropriately, and then we begin to try to take that message of the Quran and try to implement it inside our lives. So if we could all go away with just this simple message through these few days of I want to go back and make a stronger commitment towards the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything else will come and go. 
If no one knows what your efforts are, what you have done, then know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows fully well what our intentions are and what we want to achieve. So if a person makes that azmus sadiq, a strong commitment inside their heart, that I want to be an individual who's raised up with the people who recite the Quran, who implement the Quran. And the highest level of those individuals is none other than the Anbiya, while Raksim is none other than the Prophet Muhammad That should be our aspiration to be with him and to be with those individuals or companions who live the life according to the Quran. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the tawfiq and ability to carry out that sincere intention to become people of Ahlul Quran. Barakallahu feekum.